Uh, there are many keys to improving flow, but I would say the first thing that we did, which was transformative, was identifying places where we did not deliver great flow as actual failures. And in the past, we said, well, these were just delays or it was the complexity of running a hospital system. And what we did early on is say, no, that's not right. If you're waiting in the emergency room six hours for a hospital bed, that's not a delay. That's a failure of our ability to manage capacity and flow. So really calling that out as a failure was an early uh, step because it allowed us to put improvement initiatives in place to very specifically address those failures. The second thing I think was key was being able to couple uh, flow initiatives with safety because flow is such a key part of delivering safe care because of having the right teams in the right environment. But sometimes providers at the bedside don't connect managing capacity and flow with the management of safety, even though they think safety is a very important initiative. The third thing I think we did was embrace data analytics and operation management techniques in order to identify specific streams of patients that needed unique services or required unique uh, treatment within our system, which allowed us to be better uh, both operate and manage some of the critical parts of the uh, organization, such as operating rooms, intensive care units, emergency rooms, things like that.